Good morning. It's about 720 something and I decided to let y'all follow me around today. I'm going into the office. Thursdays is an office day. I typically work from home, but I decided I'm going into the office. So I've been going into the office for the last few weeks now. I think last Thursday I took the day off, but I decided, hey, gotta get this good content. So I'm gonna let y'all follow me into the office today. I'm just letting y'all know in advance, disclaimer, I don't have a very active day in the office. That's just the way it is. It's a regular schmegular graphic designer in office work day. And then I'm gonna take my lunch and then I have to run an errand because I'm doing some research for a plant shop. Then I have to come back home and then I'm gonna work for the rest of the day. Let's go. So I don't think anybody talks about all of the bags that they accumulate get, trying to get out the door. Bag lady, and that's not even, that's not even including the bag on my back. See, when you do right by people, people will do right by you. I allow, I usually allow people to shuffle in to traffic, and that just happened to me back there. because I'm part of that bag lady syndrome as well. This was my station? Houston, we have a problem. I get to the office and this is where I normally sit. And the monitor that I was using to come into the office on Thursdays is no longer here. So we're gonna have to pack it up and go into one of those little like conference rooms. Like all the other fly YouTubers be doing. somebody's office. Where the hell am I gonna work? <laughs> that was all somebody's offices. These are people's offices. Okay. Well, I thought I was doing something by coming into work today. This is totally not a part of the plan. I was supposed to sit myself down and start work and now I don't know where to sit, but I'll sit in the same place. I just won't have a monitor and that'll just be that. Who controls the light? light to spare I beg of you green juice for the win just made it yesterday
I don't know where the lights are, otherwise I would totally turn on the lights so y'all can see me. But this is still going up. Where does the platform, where does it come from? You know what I mean? Like even with B1, like I think I know like I submit it well, as an implementation. It goes to you guys and then it gets me. But I don't know how, where does it come from? Do we go to like a godaddy.com type shit and like, this is just stuff that I don't know because I've never been on like the tech side on a SaaS company as well. I've never been in a SaaS before, but I just don't know like where our platform comes from. And I feel like once I understand that, I feel like it's just gonna click. click. And like, I already know like that's obviously what Retool and Looker is for because we get to create it in there. Mm -hmm. So obviously that I'm figuring it out, but with V, I guess more on like the V1 side of things. But, but now since we're moving to V2, I guess V1 doesn't really, we're not gonna be building any new V1s. Stuff. Yeah. I really wish I could show you what I'm doing here, but I don't think I can, so I'm not going to. But I'll go ahead and fill up this time and space by introducing myself again. So if you're new here, my name is Felicia. I'm a professional graphic designer and creative living in Houston, Texas. I love Texas, by the way. It changed my freaking life. Because at one point, I was definitely fighting for my freaking life in California. That's another story for another video. But here you see me working, doing all the graphic designer things that I'm not really sure I can show you. I'm doing graphic designer things. Just pretend that you can see what I'm doing. And oh yeah, I work for a startup tech company that I've been working for almost a year and a half now. I do mostly the same thing every day. My tasks are pretty routine here. I spend a large percentage of my time working in Photoshop and After Effects, and then uh, the other portion of that working in the platform, which is also our mobile app. So that's pretty much what I do in a nutshell. I'm definitely one of those designers who has to listen to music at all costs when I'm designing or I have to have something playing in the background. Right now, my music of choice is Kate Renata. He has been getting me right. How about you? What's your name? What do you do? And who do you listen to at work?
So I just had lunch and now I'm about to tour this plant shop for inspiration. eventful day so I stopped to get lunch after I left the office and then I went to a plant shop to do some research for the plant shop logo that I'm gonna be doing and now I'm back home but traffic just takes a lot out of you so I am just taking a breather I have a lot of work to get done. Um, it started off pretty slow at work and then all of a sudden like an influx of things came through at like at 12. You know, usually when your mind is like off work. So um, I'm gonna knock out a few things as much as I can get done and then I am going to, I'm gonna drink a glass of wine and I'm gonna go home. Well, I am at home, but I'm gonna relax. Uh, let me show y'all what I had for lunch. Open it. It was some really good pasta from this place called Polly's. I wanted to show y'all, but the food took so long to get to me that I didn't even... Doesn't that look good? Can y'all smell that? Mm, cause I can. It's called Smell-O-Vision. So, I'm gonna have that later with a glass of wine. I have to go back up to the office to get my uh, little case of for my camera because my other battery is in there. So it's just, it's a lot. I'm about to listen to some music, jam out, but I hope y'all enjoyed y'all selves, cause I did. So okay, I'm gonna get to work and 